Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation, a very easy straightforward one. Functional equations are fun but some of them can be real complicated and I think I've shared with you some links, uh, some good books at the introductory level, but even those books are um, somewhat complicated. Anyways, if you're new to functional equations this is going to be a fun one and after two long videos I'm planning to do a short video. Uh, great, so I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So we have a continuous function, I forgot to say, f is continuous and we're going to be solving um, this uh, functional equation. We're going to try to find f of x. So my first method involves the following. I'm going to replace x with y and y with x. So in other words, I'm going to switch them around. So it's going to give me f of yx equals y times f of x. This is a very common strategy that's used with uh, functional equations, especially if you have a product. This will be super duper helpful because the commutative property tells us x, y equals y, x, right? At least if we're talking about a commutative ring or uh, usual multiplication. Anyways, so these values are equal. That's cool. Let's go ahead and set them equal to each other. x uh, times f of y equals y times f of x. Now, you can look at this like stare at it for hours and it may not make sense to you until you put the x's on one side and y's on the other side. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to divide both sides by x, y, right? Is that right? And if I divide both sides by x, y, that should do some tricks. Okay, x is going to cancel out, y is going to cancel out here. And yay, I got something nice. Let me rewrite it because that's not clean. f of x over x equals f of y over y. Now this is a really cool equation because notice that we have different variables on either side and we get the same equation. So we can control the variables like we can use different values and we always get the same thing. How is that possible? So f of 1 over 1 is the same as f of 2 over 2, f of 5 over 5. This is only true uh, for arbitrary values of x and y, only true if um, it's equal to a constant. And yay, we got the solution. f of x from here equals cx. c is a constant, and guess what? If you replace x with 1, you're going to get f of 1 equals c, which means c equals f of 1. So if you want, some people are going to do that. f of x can also be written as x times f of 1. Same thing, but I like this better. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Like I said earlier, this is going to be a short video, right? Okay, my second method involves the following. Let me rewrite the equation f of x, y equals x, f of y. Even though I said it's a short video, I know some people are going to say like, hey, this, you can do this in 30 seconds. Okay, fine. Replace y with 1 and see what happens. This is really cool. If you replace y with 1 in the original equation, you get f of x equals x times f of 1. And if you set f of 1 equals c, you get f of x equals cx. And that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.